Hello, my name is Sean Tracy, and this is a new episode of my unofficial but original YouTube series, Bad. Becoming a Director, a show about getting good. I'm very, very excited about this episode because it is from a film festival that I was at with my parents back in October in New York City. Literally, Times Square, dead center of New York. It mightn't be the dead center of New York geographically, but, I, you know, it's pretty much the most famous part of New York. Uh, yeah, I was at a film festival in Times Square with my parents in October uh, called the All-American High School Film Festival and that's what this whole episode is about. So very exciting stuff. I just want to preface this episode though by saying that I was at this film festival with my short film called The Least I Can Do which is a short film I released earlier this summer. I've talked a lot about it on this channel already and on my social media but if you haven't checked it out you can watch it at the link at the top of the description. I just recommend you check out that short film first before you watch this episode because it'll just provide some context simple as, uh, and I also want to say a massive thank you to everyone who worked on that film because this whole episode wouldn't have been possible without those people, so thank you to them. Enjoy the episode, stay safe, stay stellar, and like it, maybe comment, and maybe even subscribe, and maybe even check out my Patreon if you really, really, really like this episode. Patreon link is in the description. Thanks so much. <laughs> Enjoy! I'm feeling high when I'm low, I need it more when you're close to me. Gentlemen, welcome to day two. Well, day one officially here in New York, but we're not just in New York. Where are you, Mark? Square. We're in Timey Square. That's right. As you can see, Timey Square behind me. It's really just a bunch of ads, to be honest. But the exciting news is, my short film, the least I can do, is screening in a cinema, technically in Times Square, in the Times Square area today. Now we're just going to head to the cinema. My film's not screening for another few hours, but we're just going to go and get our passes and get all the good stuff that's going to allow us to actually head in at 3.45 and watch the least I can do in Times Square. Let's go. America. Sorry. Another thing I do want to mention is how cool is it that there is this opportunity for young people in New York? How amazing is it that someone has set up this film festival, Tom Oliver in this case, someone set up this festival taking place just off Times Square or in, as my dad says in the middle of Times Square, whichever you want to call it. Someone has set up this for young filmmakers. That is amazing. My God, look at this place. This is not a cinema. This is a, uh, this is, this is a, gr a Greek theater that is absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's get our tickets or our passes wherever we can find them. Got a program inside as well. Oh, there's a queue. Hi, yeah. I've got, I've got an all-access pass for Sean, Tracy, and then a specific screening pass for my parents. Okay, so it's going to be under purchaser's last name. It's Tracy. The last Tracy. Name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Went to Prodigy Camp with me, producer on Foundation, my new short film, so. So, this is Henry Schreiber. Hello, Sean. How are we doing? Doing amazing. Okay, so basically, if you don't know Henry, Henry was not only the producer on Foundation, my new short film, but Henry was also at Prodigy Camp this year. He was in my cabin. I came home from Prodigy Camp, and as I've, I've said many times, I cried for a whole week. It was heartbreaking, so I'm very, very happy to see you yes, again here. It's so good um, to be here. You had a film here uh -huh. today. You had a film earlier yes. today. Crooked River, also made at Prodigy Camp in uh, summer of 2021. There you go. I yeah. was not there that summer because COVID did not allow travel to be a thing. <laughs> But I'm very glad. We very survived. Proud of you. We were here. 
you're a survivor sure. here, and I'm very proud that you have a film here, and also yes. I have a film here. And not gonna lie, we had our screenings earlier, um, so we've had a full day here in New York, and my film screened earlier, but it screams to a very, there was a very limited number of people in the crowd, and... Not the most convenient time. Not the most convenient time, yeah. all that kind of stuff happening. However, thankfully, the All-American High School Film Festival not only has the screenings for the blocks of all the films, it also has the best of fest screenings. And very luckily, my short film, The Least I Can Do, is featured in that, which means it'll be a full theatre, so myself, my mum and Henry get to watch The Least I Can Do in this cinema in Times Square. It's going to be, on it's a, be better than YouTube, I'm going to say. And it'll be better than YouTube. <laughs> better than and, all my phone. Uh, <laughs> and it'll be also, at a, like, not only a full theatre, yeah. but it'll be, what was the word I was Oh yeah, Times Square on a Saturday Easiest night. Easiest movie theatre in the world, apparently. Yes. And, <laughs> On a Saturday night, so yeah, I'll take that. Doesn't so get better than this. Doesn't get better than this. <laughs> Let's go watch the film. Let's go have a good Saturday night at the film festival before the big award ceremony happens tomorrow. Have you had a good time? Oh, lovely time. And how incredible is it that there is this opportunity for young people? Even better, even better being with you, Sean. Okay, now it is day three. It is our second full day, but our third day here in New York City. Last night was absolutely phenomenal. It was just incredible. Uh, it was the best of fest screening, as I mentioned. The least I can do screened among uh, lots of other ex ex exceptionally high quality films. One of them being Max Hendrickson's from Ireland, The Oubliette. Still an absolute masterpiece of a film. Um, that was really the meaning of this trip for me was in that moment because I got to see the least I can do shown in front of a live audience and I just felt so much joy in that moment I, and I don't know if joy is the right word but I, I don't know if I will find the right word but I was just so I guess proud I know pride can be look sh like shamed upon and stuff like that but I was really really proud not only of what I achieved but of, of what all the actors achieved of what Alberto achieved having that film screen here to a live audience in New York City meant the absolute world and uh, it was just such a special moment that I'm so grateful for and yeah the meaning of this trip has been fulfilled having my mum beside me for that moment um, was was phenomenal um, and I'm just so grateful for that but moving on from that looking ahead to this day we just had a fantastic morning of workshops the directing actors workshop was phenomenal uh, we went to another screening there as well with more very very high quality films and now that you know, I feel like a lot of the bulk and the meaning of this trip has been fulfilled with showing the film and with meeting Henry and Theo and making new friends and connections. Now we are uh, looking forward to the red carpet and the award show this evening. That's, that's what's left. That is what is left for us to experience. So I guess I will see you there. Stars up above me, stars in my eyes, fire below me, starting the rise. I'm my own captain, hanging on tight tonight. Leave regrets and wishes and hopes and bells and wondering what would happen. Think I'll leave it all behind. I don't wanna wake up and let my dreams die. This moment I'm making mine. Don't tell me I'm wasting time. I'll show you what I'm made of. exceptional when I grew up nobody cared what teenagers had to, to say think or even make um, so you should be really proud that, that you have an opportunity to express yourself specifically about things that actually concern you and are important to you and also bring entertainment and enlightenment to the crowd this award for best director goes to the least I can do I don't wanna wake up. 